Welcome back to a special playoff edition of Operation Football. Well, up in Shelby County, there was a rematch of last year's Division VI regional final between Fort Warmie and Marion Local. The Redskins looking to deliver a little postseason payback after losing to the Flyers 27-0 last November. Let's fire up the highlights, but for Fort Warmie, revenge simply was not on the menu tonight. The Flyers, Niles Keller takes the handoff and makes a few guys miss and then a rumble for the first down. Later on that same drive, it's Ryan Mesher looking deep, and he'll find Dylan Toby who hauls it in down at the one-yard line. Very next play, Niles Keller takes it in, and Marion Local is on top 7-0. Flyers on the move again. This time it's Ryan Mesher on the quarterback keeper, and he's going to pick up first down yardage, diving for every inch. A few plays later, Keller picking up 25 more on this carry. He'll go all the way down to the two-yard line. Ryan Mesher would finish off that drive on this keeper with the touchdown. It was 14 to nothing, Marion Local. Jake Heitkamp gets another flyer drive going with this big bruising run. That drive would end with this reverse. Khalif Huron. Khalif is going to take it around the left side and head into the end zone for the score. The Flyers advance with a 49 to 7 victory. Tonight. To Sydney in the frozen tundra. Lachlan against Layman Catholic. Cavaliers up 14-0 at halftime. The opening kickoff of the second half taken by Will Vernon, who dodges some defenders. And check him out. He's sailing through the snowstorm for a 78-yard return. He's going to take it down to the one. Oppie nominee Caleb Goins going to take it from there as he takes it in from the one. 21 zip. Cavs in control of this one. Layman's defense stepping up big tonight as well. Joe Vandenhuvel with the nice tackle. The Cavs back on the move. Oppie nominee Kalen Goins again running the option for the first down. Next up on the drive, it's Travis Ratliff. He takes the handoff and turns up some good yards. Will Vernon going to keep the drive alive with another nice run. And he's keeping it going for Goins. The senior, Caleb Goins. Going to cap it off with yet another score. He's good at that. Let's go to the scoreboard. Lehman wins it 42 to nothing over Lachlan. Elsewhere in Division 6, it was Minster over Catholic Central 44 to 21. Marion Local beats Fort Loramie 49 to 7. Danielle's Covington Bucks advance with a 49 to 6 win over Ansonia in Division 4. Kenton over Carlisle. Alter knocks out North College Hill 35 to 14 in Division II. Wenton Woods ends Carroll's season 40 to 21. Trotwood over Harrison 39 to 15, and in a shootout, Kings defeats Tecumseh 55 to 30. Coming up tomorrow night, the opening round continues in Division I with Troy, Centerville, and Wayne all playing out on the road while Springfield will host its first ever postseason game in D3. Tippecanoe, Springfield, Shawnee, and Eaton. All are home, while Dunbar will play on the road. And in Division 5, it's cold water at Anna. Tune in to Two Sports tomorrow night at 11 for your scores and highlights. Well, last night, the second annual Monster Oppie Awards were held at Frickers and Huber Heights. And don't we clean up well? The show has all, was uh, presented live exclusively online at WDTN.com. Miami Valley football fans logged in on our website over the past week to vote for last night's winners, given to the area's best performances as seen on Operation Football. And if you missed it, no problem. The second annual Monster Oppie Awards can be seen in its entirety on demand right now at WDTN.com. Um, and, of course, all of the highlights from tonight's show can also be seen at WDTN.com. Just click on the Sports tab, then go to the Op Football link, and that is going to do it for our show tonight. It's certainly been exciting, and let's hope the local teams keep rolling. That's right. A bunch of Division One teams, four from the area in action tomorrow night. We'll have highlights then. Have a great weekend.